Hey everybody, Matthew Solomon here. Today's video topic is doing things the right way. Um, I, w I was thinking about this this morning. I, I had a boss years ago who uh, he used to say, do you want to do things your way or do them the right way? <laughs> and, and that is all under the assumption that there's only one right way to do it and that his way was the right way and that whatever I did was going to be wrong. Now, you know, that was his business. He was in charge, and uh, I get it. And, you know, from a larger perspective, from living our lives, living your lives, there is not, well, there is one right way, and that's the way that you're doing it. And there's no, there's no right and wrong. It's just your path and your journey. And so, you know, we spend a lot of time, uh, a lot of us, I've spent a lot of time in my life seeking out teachers and going to seminars and reading books and, you know, looking for what's the one right way to do it that's going to have me have all the stuff that I, that I want that um, I, believe, uh, I believe is there for me. And if I'm not getting it, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. So what's the right way? Because I'm, I'm, I keep finding these ways that I think are the right way, but they're the wrong way. And that's been my mindset for a long time that, um, you know, if I'm not uh, achieving a certain level of success, I must be blocking myself in some way. So I'm, which may be the case, but I'm doing it wrong. I'm taking the wrong actions, I'm talking to the wrong people. Focusing on the wrong things. I should just get a job. I should move to a smaller place. I should parent my children a certain way. I should be more open and accepting in a relationship that I am. I should work harder in a relationship. I should not have to work so hard in a relationship. I should not have to work so hard at my career. I should work harder at my career. I should follow this structure. That structure is not the right one. I should follow this structure. Who's with me on this? <laughs> or is it just me? Am I, am I wrong? Seriously. Like there's all these, all, everybody's, got, everybody's got an opinion. And, you know, I, I grew up with, you have to have something to fall back on. And I went to music school because I was passionate about music and music, going to school for music was my way to do college, but do what I wanted to do. And so I grew up with, you have to have something to fall back on, but I didn't want anything to fall back on. I never believed I would fall back. And one of my professors in music school said, if you have something to fall back on, you will fall back. And so, you know, here's this great dynamic and this great instruction and this great insight. And yet, the, you know, the music thing reached a certain level of success and it didn't go past that. But then was I wrong for not having to, anything to fall back on? I did actually have something to fall back on now that I think of it. It just wasn't traditional. I didn't have an office job to fall back on. I had uh, an acting career. To fall back on. I had a, a casting, working in casting to fall back on. I have, you know, music engineering and producing skills to fall back on, which, which all of that developed into writing and directing. And I used, to, I used to joke, I said, well, you know, the music thing didn't work out. If the acting thing doesn't work out, I can always direct. <laughs> and so I've been doing that and coaching. And I wrote a book. And so I don't look at it as falling back. I look at it as I'm doing this and I'm doing this and I'm doing this. And it's all within the wheelhouse of I am a creative fucking human being. I am driven by creativity. I'm driven by art. I'm driven by the connection that it allows me with people. And, and you get to do that too. 
you know, I could look back on my life and pick out all the failures, or I could look back on my life and pick out all the successes and how this led to this, led to this, led to this, led to this. One of the reasons I am such an effective coach is because I've done all those things. It's because I've met all kinds of people and listened and heard all kinds of stuff. One of the reasons I'm an effective filmmaker is because I know all this shit. Like I can speak music and audio with the, the music and audio people. I can talk editing and cuts and, and all of that with the editors. You know, I spent a lot of time watching uh, TV writers work and how they're constantly editing and editing and taking stuff out and changing stuff. So when there's notes that come in or when something's not quite right, it doesn't fuck me up. It's like, all right, cool. Let's, let's change it and tighten it and make it better. That's my lane. All of this is my lane. You have your lane. What is your lane? And do that. You don't need somebody to give you a system unless you're looking for a system. You don't need somebody to tell you the right way unless what you're doing doesn't seem to be working and you're just looking for like another, another version, another option. You do you. You get to do things. You get to do whatever works for you. And if you'd like some support with that, I have a course coming up. It's a nine week, two month course, online, video, conference calls once a week, a Facebook support group, access to me. It, it's gonna be amazing because you get to discover what works for you and go do that. You get to have support in doing things your way. You get to be alivened and inspired by who you are and who you're being and what you do and what you create. And we'll just go step by step and get rid of all the shame and the guilt and the, I, uh, you know, I should have just gone and worked at Burger King. No. What you're doing is exactly what you need to be doing right now. And you get to do more of it and feel good about it. And feel great about it and do more and believe in yourself and trust in yourself. So do whatever works for you. I'll post the link. It's at coachwithmatthewsolomon.com slash coaching hyphen programs. It starts <laughs> May 30th. It's on, it's on the computer. It starts May 30th. It's going to be awesome. Every program I've had, like the, from day one to the end of the program, it just leaps and bounds the, the breakthroughs people have. So join me. Let's do this. Thanks for liking and sharing.